throwing stuff away is so yesterday. Today, materials are reduced, reused and recycled. Sustainable design. Simple forms and timeless elegance. Architect Bambo Lemenzel has created a compact feel-good oasis for visitors to Berlin. It contains rare jewels like Mies van der Rohe's Barcelona chair, an Egon Ironman table, and his own designs, a couch, table, and armchair that any amateur can build for himself. Today you can produce anything you like, in any form, in any color, with any material. And yet many people yearn for something real, for authenticity, for objects with a soul. That's why I like things that are honest with me and that aren't wasteful with material. And that maybe tell a little story. These vases would narrate their former lives as bottles. That's the kind of environmentally friendly stories all the objects would tell in designer Zilke Rademacher's shop. Zilke and her business partner woo customers with aesthetics and sustainability. There is plenty of demand, but especially for special things you don't see everywhere else. Mass production has certain advantages for industry, but not necessarily for taste. In our shop, you can find special things. The shelves designed by Francesco Apuzzo and Irina Jurasic are successful without being mass produced. The architect couple lives and works in Berlin. They design with sheet metal, but fold it like paper. The products in their Linea 1 series have a special aim, to be inconspicuous. It all started with these shelves, with the idea or wish to have books on the wall without the shelves being important. Someone who chooses these shelves likes that they exude calm and are reserved. That they don't flaunt design and that they're basically invisible. Mm -hmm. Less is more as a reaction to a loud, hectic, overfilled everyday life. The sociologist Harald Welzer not only shapes his own living space with simple things, he also sees this as an antidote to an all too busy society. People are in such a high powered race that they aren't even aware that they're stuffing their own lives and their scope for action full with this multiplicity of products. All this stuff limits their freedom. And I see it as a designer's task to open up these spaces of freedom and movement again. The principle is nothing new, but reuse things. Nothing new, but redesign things. Reduce, reuse, recycle is also the motto of the German pavilion at the current Architecture Biennale in Venice. The idea is that rather than tearing down old buildings, they should be remodeled. Design with a clear conscience. Is that the new approach for designers? Designers are crucially involved in what is available to buy. And they ought to think about that. They shouldn't just take the position, I've got this commission, it's not my fault if the things are produced poorly or out of poor materials, or under the worst possible conditions. The future of design could look like this, not designing yet another cool vessel for mineral water, but a sign pointing to the nearest tap water faucet. In short, not creating new things, but ridding the world of things that are superfluous. For me, simplicity is a form of sustainability. A sheet metal panel produces no waste. And the way it's coated, powder coating is more sustainable and environmentally friendly than painting with lacquer. The fact that we produce things in Berlin is also a parameter that's important to us. Simplicity is also sustainable in the sense that you don't get sick of seeing it. Simplicity can be quite original. Britain's Maisie Broadhead creates magic with extremely long electric cables. 
the Swedish Stockholm City Mission bag is made entirely of second-hand clothing. And these handmade lamps from the U.S. use little material and little energy. Not all ideas require a designer, just look at where there's still storage space. Designers have to get much more involved in the processes by which things are made. There's this chain of value creation, raw material supplier, then the designer, then the production company, the PR company, and then the consumer. How can we arrange that the consumer is not all the way at the end of the chain, but here, or here, so that the people who are ultimately supposed to buy it are also held more accountable? Simple design with a clear conscience. Design that lasts, like this dinnerware designed almost 70 years ago by a Bauhaus artist.